in this section we'll try to understand what are the different types of views we have and then what exactly they do so before we assign any specific commands we need to create the views so unlike privilege levels we don't have any limitations so here mainly there are two views called root view and the CLI view now root view is just like a master view where we can make all the changes just like privilege level of 15 so if you want to assign any specific user with the specific commands what they should execute you must have full permissions just like that we have a root view now this root view is just like uh, having full permissions and if you want to create a new view let's say I want to create a security engineer view and I want to associate all the commands relating to security and also I want to associate specific commands to that security view so if you want to create any new view or if you want to assign any specific commands you must log into the root view and we can log in with a with some enable view command and of course for this you must have enable password configured and AAA must be enabled we'll, we'll talk about that when we get into the specific configurations and you can verify that you are uh, with this command show parser view and you you must be logged in with the root view now the CLI view is nothing but the views which we are going to create like I want to create a new view with a security engineer so we can create a new view and we can associate a specific commands to that particular view so likewise I can also create another view like routing switching engineer and I can associate a specific commands to them now these are the normal views the normal views are referred as CLI views and to create these normal views we, we must log into the root view as I said so each view will be assigned a specific commands will, will be assigning and there's no inheritance of the commands from one view to another view like whatever the commands you are assigning in the security view these commands uh, doesn't inherit on the other views unlike privilege levels and we can also use specific commands in both the views like uh, maybe I want both the views should be able to execute show run command so we can still have some common commands in both the views that's not a problem but it's it's overall like a separate set of commands given in an individual view so mainly we'll be using a root view to create and manage the other views CLI view or nothing but the individual views which are associated to the user accounts so we have a special view called super view now super view is here we don't associate any any specific commands like here commands cannot be configured here but this is just like you have a level 3 engineer and I want this level 3 engineer so let's say we created two views with a security engineer one view and another view with a routing switching engineer and also I created another view with with a with some other view let's say some some VYP user uh, the administrator who is managing the VYP a separate engineer so I have my senior engineer maybe a level 3 engineer and this engineer is responsible for majorly for designing and he will be uh, he should be allowed access to all the specific commands in this views means he can he can do almost everything something like that so we can create a user with a user like admin or any any user account and we can associate this we can create something like super view and inside the super view will associate these three views so which means we, we, we don't any we don't assign any specific commands in the super view but the super view is just like uh, have access to mul uh, like whatever the commands available on multiple views those specific commands can be available in the super view as well now whoever the user logged in with the super view can access all the commands that are configured in any of the views we created that are actually part of a part of the super view <coughs> 